everyone, I am trying out three new products today. They're all GDI and uh, it's base coat, lilac colour and a matte coat. I'm really looking forward to using the matte coat. So I've already prepped my nails ready for my gel applica application. So I am just applying my base coat. I'd just like to add that um, for all of my four fingers, uh, I didn't have to put my brush back into the bottle. This uh, it all applied from um, from the first time I got it out of the bottle, which I just thought was amazing. I don't normally have that, so I was sort of really chuffed with that. I was really, really annoyed when I looked back and saw that this was blurred because the ca normally the camera is in front of me because I do my recording off an iPad so I can see if things are not working out whereas this, it was uh, not in my shot um, which was really annoying because I'd done my base coat fine just before so I've just sped this process up. You can still see the colour going on um, but yeah, I just put it on to when I've got two coats and I was super super impressed with this. I was expecting to have to put at least uh, three to four coats of this colour on because it was a lighter colour but it was it was really good. I absolutely love this Mother Nature plate. There are so many gorgeous designs that you can take off it and I am trying this sort of look out on my nails. I'm using my fabulous creative creative stamper and scraper. It's like the best stamper in the world. I love it. It makes me look like I'm good at stamping and I'm not. <laughs> and I'm trying to sort of work out the best way to show uh, how to stamp. Uh, I do sort of struggle when I record my own nails. So that's why I was trying different sort of camera angles and trying different stuff out. So, as you can see on the stamper, I just wipe off any excess that I don't want. It just saves clean up afterwards. And I think the, this design is such a pretty design because it's not like in your face. It's not overpowering, but it just glams your nails up a little bit and it's just super girly and super pretty. And I love the bird cages and the birds and all that sort of theme. Um, so I was really uh, pleased when I got this plate for that reason. Oh, just a little update as well. I am in the process of putting, taking my queen plate back. Um, I was super, super disgusted with the quality of the product and it must have been a fake or something like that. Um, because I, <clears throat> as you can see, I can stamp fine with this plate and with this stamper and yeah, so I was really not impressed and not impressed with the customer service of the person that I brought it off of Amazon as well. I'll be putting details below. Um, obviously you guys can do whatever you want, but I will never be buying off that person again. Um, I was really unimpressed. But anyway, <laughs> I just thought I'd update you on that. But um, I was super gutted because I really loved the plate. It got so many lovely images, but the quality was just disgusting. And um, yeah, so not impressed. But moving on now, uh, this I was sort of being careful with applying the matte coat, top coat because I didn't know whether it smudged the design or not. Um, but it didn't, and it dries really, really nicely. Um, so I'm, I'm really, really pleased. So this is the finished look. I hope you like it. Please tell me, please comment, let me know because all you are is just a st statistic. I would love to know who my viewers are. So thank you for watching today. Bye.